Hello everyone, this is Brady with Lewis Motor Company and today we're taking a look at our 2011 International PB105 Short School Bus. This bus in particular has just under 169,000 original miles on an International DT Series Max Force 7.6 liter turbo diesel and an Allison automatic transmission. These buses are absolutely perfect for schoolie or camper conversions. They're much shorter than your average school bus, but the perfect size for all your necessities of a schoolie. As you can see, it's overall in really nice condition inside and out. The tires show well, starts right up. It has three brand new batteries and a new serpentine belt. And the bus mechanically is in really nice condition. Just came out of rotation from Prince George's County Public Schools and you can see that on the side of the bus, it's been blacked out. But it came right out of their rotation. They get rid of them every 10 years and rotate their fleet. This is the last one out of the fleet that I purchased at the later part of 2021. And it's basically the last opportunity for one of these for at least almost a year. They release them at the end of the year when they become 10 years old and this is the last one I have. So we're gonna jump up inside here, show you the interior. Everything's in really nice condition. Driver's seat has a small tear, but everything's in really nice condition and as if it was just taken right out of service because it was. Bought it directly from Prince George's County Schools and that has been their only owner. We'll jump in the hot seat here and we'll go ahead and fire it up. Exact mileage, 168,566 miles. Time of this video. Try to get the sun out of our eyes here. Start it up. Sounds great, no issues with the engine. Overall, really nice bus. It's got all of our switches still intact looks like we're missing one uh, but nonetheless a very complete and intact bus Here's our Allison automatic transmission walking to the back here all the seats are in tact as you can see most likely if you're gonna do a schoolie or camper conversion you're gonna rip these seats out but they are intact so if you wanted to use it for an actual bus the opportunity is still there Cool thing about these buses are everything is screwed and bolted in. So there's no rivets on these buses. As you can see going down, see a bunch of screws and a bunch of bolts, but there's no rivets inside here. So you could rip apart this interior pretty easily. But looking back here, as you can see, it's all in really nice condition. Even the seats have very low use. So you've got about six and a half feet of headroom in here. So you can get a pretty tall guy in here or girl and about 18 feet of length. So from behind the driver's seat here to the end where the emergency exit is about 18 feet. So plenty of space, plenty of room, pretty much an open canvas for whatever you want to do. Like I said, this is the perfect size for a schoolie. If you're looking for a schoolie, one to convert, it's a great canvas for that. It doesn't have a whole bunch of miles. It's one of the newer schoolies or school buses out there that you can buy at 2011, still fairly new. And this bus is in great condition inside and out. Hardly any body damage or really hard to fault this thing at all. Taking a look at all the tires, We've got some good tread remaining. I'd say the rears are about 50% or better. They should last you a good while, especially if you're just doing camping trips and whatnot. The fuel flap up there, that's what that is next to the door. Open that up and that houses your fuel tank. Obviously a diesel fuel tank. But again, inside and out of this bus, just really in nice condition. You'll see some minor paint fade just over the years, but cosmetically it's in great, great condition. Mechanically as well. I've had a few people buy these buses and they come back to me and say that they had their mechanic check it out and it just checks all the boxes. 
I've shipped a lot of these across the country where the people will actually fly in and drive them home. The furthest I've shipped one of these this year is to Washington State. The guy drove it back. So they're mechanically sound. They're just really good buses. That's all I can say about it. It's not a bus that's been sitting around. It's a bus that's been used and driven. Prince George's County will refix them as needed because they need the kids to go to school. Looking down this side, it's no different. Cosmetically in really nice condition. Looking down the side of it, hardly any bumps or bruises on this thing. It's in really nice condition. Now the thing about these buses is they're not driven much in the winter. When the kids, when, it, when, it, uh, when we have snow or anything like that, the kids don't go to school. So these buses underneath are in really nice condition. Here in Maryland, we don't get much snow as it is, but when we do, they call off school pretty quick. So you can see that looking underneath there, it shows really, really well. Hardly any surface rust on the frame. It's just a really, really nice bus inside and out and even underneath. I've even had that a few times where somebody will call me and say, I bought a bus and it's all rusted out. These buses are in just in really nice condition inside and out. This little compartment here is actually for the rear heat. It uses your engine's antifreeze to heat the rear of the bus. Most people will rip this out because you need to have your engine running for heat and most people will use this as a storage compartment again if you're going to convert it. Take a look at this compartment here. This houses all your bus stuff. So you've got all kinds of fuses and wires related to the bus system and safety hazard or safety lights and things of that nature. And this is what houses your batteries. Three brand new batteries on this bus. last you a good while this is a great bus it's in nice condition it's just like all the other ones like i said i think i think i had 17 this year this is the last one out of that bunch got a couple stragglers from a couple years ago but uh, this is the last one out of the bunch and it's a good bus engine sounds healthy Don't notice any major leaks. We'll go ahead and pop the hood and show you the engine compartment. But on a lot of the times, these buses, you can look under the hood and just know that it was maintained correctly. It looks like this one didn't pop up. It was maintained correctly because you got some new parts under there. Show you that. We did put a new serpentine belt on it. Showing a little bit of wear, but generally speaking, these things are maintained to a team. But there you have it, guys. The last bus out of the, this year's rotation of Prince George's County school buses. So if you like this bus, do not hesitate. It's going to be the last one that I get, at least for this year. At the end of this year, of 2022, I'll probably be able to buy a few more. But it's the last one for a while. If you like these buses, this is a great candidate, if not one of the best ones I've had. Starts right up, runs great, looks good, cosmetically in excellent condition. Hardly any surface rust on the frame. It's just a nice bus. 
but you can check it out for sale on eBay. Feel free to give me a call, shoot me a message. I'd be happy to help you. I can ship this bus throughout the United States. Call me and I'll give you a quote on that. We are Lewis Motor Company. We're located in Clarksville, Maryland, which is just outside of Baltimore, Maryland. If you have any questions on this bus, I don't have any more buses, but if you have any questions on this bus or any other trucks have listed for sale, please do not hesitate to call. Thank you guys for watching.